In this video, we cover how to make annotations using polygons. To start annotating objects using polygons, select the pentagon icon on the toolbar. Then, set a label you want to annotate and press the shape button. Let's annotate this person. We use the left mouse button to add points and the right mouse button to remove them. These points connect with lines, forming a polygon. If we hold down the shift button, points will be added automatically under the mouse cursor without clicking the mouse. Once a polygon is created, we can adjust its points by dragging them to a new place or redrawing its boundaries. To redraw part of a polygon line, hold the shift button down, press the point closest to the area you want to redraw, and then draw a new line. You can finish redrawing the polygon by clicking on an existing point. You can also use an existing polygon's points to draw a new polygon, if they have a common border. First, make sure the Automatic Bordering option is turned on in the settings. You can get to the settings by pressing F2 on Windows. If that's done, pressing and holding the Control button will show you the points of the previously annotated polygons. Select the first point in common with both objects. Next, select a second point to confirm the segment the new polygon will use. That second point will turn purple. Finally, select the last point the two polygons have in common to complete the segment. From there, you can complete the new polygon using an existing segment from the previous polygon. You can also make copies of polygons by selecting one pressing Ctrl-C and then Ctrl-V. You'll see a contour of the copied polygon, which you can then adjust to fit the new object. It's also possible to annotate polygons in interpolation mode. Let's select a polygon shape and click the track button. Then annotate the first object as usual. In the Objects menu, we can unpin the polygon, deactivating its Switch Pinned property. This will let us move the whole polygon at once. Now we can fine tune the polygon's points. Let's go back to the first frame and look at the result of the interpolation. Looks pretty good. Another way to make polygons with interpolation is to redraw a whole interpolated polygon instead of adjusting its boundaries. Pay attention to the fact that the created polygon has a starting point and a gray arrow indicating a direction. These elements are important for annotating the following frames. After going a few frames forward, press Shift plus N. The old polygon will disappear and you can create a new one. The new starting point of this new polygon should match the starting point of the previously created polygon. The direction should also match. In this example, it's clockwise. After creating the polygon, press N and the intermediate frames will be interpolated automatically. Let's check out the result between the keyframes. Looks quite good, 